Hello and welcome. I'm Knight's Angel and this is just a Fulf on the Road. Yep, car ride. Yeah, I'm actually getting a ride to work today, so we are having a car ride. He's a floating wolf on the road now. Mm, more like sporadic. That's always been kind of my, my deal, you know? That's very true. Very true. Uh, and a little distressing here. De-stressing, not distressing. Apparently we've had somebody trying to get into one of our vehicles and into our house. Not, this does not make a happy fulf. But we are going to get a few things later on today to try and deter them. We've even, we've even gone and called the police on the matter. They took a statement. If these individuals decide to try again, we are going to, well, legally apprehend them. Ignore him. I was gonna say kill with kindness, but yeah, ignore him. But see, that's just like one of those things. I mean, common sense. A common sense to the person that w would do that. Why would you do that? More to the point, what would you do? Okay. The idea of... This is more towards the kind of person... This is towards the per to the individuals in this situation. What would you do if somebody was going was trying to do do what you're doing to you? Okay. We have a simple household. Everybody is working. Everybody is trying to make their lives better. And then you have a couple of individuals. I cannot distinguish anything else about them because I don't know anything else about them. Nor would it be the right thing to do in a situation such as this. Are trying to take take that away. Are trying to take away what little we have actually built for ourselves. It's not even a matter of it, of what we own, it's a matter of we own it. We earned it. We did the work for it. And somebody wants to take take it, that away from us. And that's what got and that's what has me peeved. Now in all honesty If I could, in all honesty, if I can catch them in the act, I would, well, first of all, interrupt them with what they're doing. And then I would sit there and lecture them. And if they are if they are under a certain age, I will have them pull out their phones and call their guardian, their parent or guardian, and tell them. No, I pretty much once they make the call and let them know, 
I would have them turn the phone over to me, and I will tell the tell their parent and or guardian what they were doing, what where they are at, and why they're there. Now, I would do that simply because I'm one of those people that will give you a second chance. And if it happened again, mommy and daddy are going to get called by somebody else. Predominantly the legal fo- the legal forces, or more so, law enforcement, to either collect you from the police station, or to set a or to let you know what's going on so you can so that they can get a bond ready for you. I'm generally an easy person to get along with. I agree. Of course you would. <laughs> You're afraid of me. I'm not afraid of you. You're just overly fluffy. He's lying. Anyway. All that being said. This was just me kind of. De-stressing on that matter. So. If you are watching. I hope you guys understand. It's one of those things. And I had just gotten over being sick too. Literate, literally. This is the best I've felt in a, in a few days, so. With that, I'm here. I'm going to go ahead and end this. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. I'm Knights Angel. This has been a Wolf on the Road. And I hope you have a better day. Peace.